Hi, my name's Duncan from SSW, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to get and clone the Angular 2 Music Store from SSW. So to get started, uh, we've got a few steps. We want to check uh, that we have the right versions of uh, Node and NPM, and also ASP.NET Core, Release Candidate 2, TypeScript 1.7 or higher, or Gulp version 3 or higher installed on our machine. And if you're going to run this in Visual Studio versus Visual Studio Code or another IDE, I highly recommend uh, that you use Visual Studio 2015 Update 2. Save yourself a bunch of headaches. And this uh, first step here I'm going to run through is the main reason why people have trouble uh, usually installing anything uh, with the latest web tools from uh, GitHub. So I'm going to jump over to command. I'm going to jump over to command line and I'm going to check these. So I'm going to go node-v. So I'm at 5.1, which is good, npm-v, which is the right version of npm, or I'm also going to check TypeScript, which is the TSC for TypeScript compiler. So that's good. And I'm going to check the gulp-v. Yep, so that's good. And the last one is dnvm for the .NET version manager and for ASP.NET Core. So I'm running RC2 of ASP.NET Core, so perfect. I'm all up to date, latest stuff, and I'm ready to pull the project. So I'm going to come in here and copy that string. So this is just going to git clone that URL. You also need to have git on your machine. If you don't have it, it is invaluable. So while we're waiting for that, I'm just going to grab the next line, which is just going to change direct, help us change directory onto the web project level. So now if I look at the directory for the project we just pulled down, we can see we have a uh, package.json here, which has a list of all our third-party dependencies. So I'm going to do an npm install at this uh, level of the project, and it's going to go read that file and go get all of the third-party dependencies that I need. So this step sometimes takes a minute to go pull everything down. Uh, so I'm going to come back over. And so we've done the npm, or in the middle of the npm install, and then we're going to do a dnu restore after that. So I'm just going to open another tab to do that. Push start. And actually, it's not going to work for us because I'm not on the right root level of the project. So I'm just going to... Grab that. And that will help us get to the right part. So now I can do a DNU restore. I'm on the right path here. And that's just going to go make sure we've got all the uh, packages we need to run this ASP.NET Core application. And then after that, I can do a TSC, which is just going to go grab all of my uh, TypeScript and turn it into JavaScript uh, next door to wherever there's a TypeScript file with the .ts extension. So I'm just going to run that. should be pretty quick. And it's saying that it can't find a bunch of uh, dependencies yet because uh, I haven't finished uh, downloading the NPM just yet. But that's finished now, or almost finished. And you'll see, you can see it's, it's normal to get some warnings and some errors when you're installing uh, doing an npm install like I did. But when you see this uh, successful tree of all the packages installed, you know that you're on the right path. So then I can pop back over here and run that uh, TSC for TypeScript compiler again. And now it's uh, converted all of my TypeScript to JavaScript. And then I can do a DNX web which is just a uh, .NET execution environment, and that's going to kick off the browser for me. And it's saying here, permission denied, which is interesting. So let's just try that again. And it's because I've already got it running in Visual Studio that it's not let me do that. So I'm going to do DNX Web again. And now it's running at localhost 5000. So you could be doing this on a Mac if you like because we're running cross-platform these days with ASP.NET Core. So localhost 5000. And then there's our project pulled down and running. 
and it's a little slow to hit my uh, cheap instance on Azure here, but there you go, you can see that now the data is coming back down from the remote API that is not in this project. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like in Visual Studio here. I'm just gonna uh, clean up our view and open the Solution Explorer. So you can see all of the project here that we pulled down from GitHub and I could easily have just come in here and done Control Shift B once I'd uh, cloned and opened it in Visual Studio and it would have gotten all the latest packages for me and it would have also run the TSC command in the Task Runner Explorer uh, which is set up to uh, run the TSC task every time you build and that would have worked for us and then I could have just come in here and push play and it will do the same thing as DNX web but access is denied because I'm running it already so I need to kill the server over here and then pop back over to Visual Studio and run it. And that's it running. So the only other thing to do is to come over uh, to command line again and to run gulp build, which will kick off a build task, which will bundle up our application uh, and pluck out only what we need from our node modules folder and pop that into the dub dub root for us. So if we come back over to Visual Studio and have a look uh, at the Solution Explorer and in dub dub root, we can see now we have a single script file for the whole project, a single so uh, CSS file, single index and uh, assets for all of our images and icons. So that's a very quick how to get started and cheers, thanks for watching.